Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. We're still playing through this game again on New Game Plus on the hardest difficulty. Give me God of War. And uh, it's been a while for me. It's been a few weeks since I last played this, and if I recall correctly, we just needed to head through the mountain. We did a few of the side bits, we did Vitagard, but I think... For now, we'll just continue with the main quest, because I think I want to just get to Mimir as quickly as possible, which is going to take a while. Probably the entire stream. But, uh... Oh, yeah, okay, should be paying attention. And again, it's been a while, so... Let's try that. A bit better. Um, okay. Ooh, this has been a while. So that's just that. Okay, just getting to grips again. Uh, just throwing. Wait, you know what? And jump away. And face. And face again. And the explosive well. Just gonna have to get used to not that using that circle to dodge. Now I'm playing a lot of Spider-Man, and that's circle to dodge. But why was I? Yeah, I want to get to Mimir as quickly as we can, just to get all the lore bits when he's around. Because since I did a lot of side stuff before we got Mimir originally, I think there might be some dialogue options that we just missed. So uh, let's just skip right ahead and yeah, do a bit of the main quest. So these guys are down. Oh wow. Oh god. Yeah, they explode. They explode, still remembering. They explode, just get the legs. And there we go. These guys are really under level, by the way. That easy. Yeah, for some reason, they are that easy. Let's open that up. Here, boy. Another one. Look, it's the world serpent. He's so much bigger than I imagined. So... Oh, look, he bit Thor. Or will bite him. Looks like. What's the left panel all about, by the way? Is that actually... no, no, that's not the one I need. It's not the one I need. We need the lore. There we go, that's the lore. Maybe the only one big enough to beat Thor. Still can't believe we met him. But what is this panel all about? He's like biting an even bigger woman in the breasts with a lot of wolves around it. Because now that we know that... Um, Atreus is supposed to be Loki, and Loki is the father of Jormungandr. That must be poison. Well, Atreus' future wife, if that's, of course, the Mulligan I'm reading that right. Let's just get everything over here. And... Oh, no, don't, don't pull that back. Don't pull that back. Ooh. I'm gonna get hurt in a second. If I just keep forgetting that I can. It is! Hmm. Where did he go? Where did he go? There it is. So these things are level... Oh, no, 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 power level 7. Yeah, right. I remember, I remember. I'm remembering again. Because, yeah, it's been almost a month, I think, since I played this game. Especially with Spider-Man going on. Another cipher piece. It's been a while. See what I can fit together. Cipher piece. Uh, we have this here as well. But I don't get the crystal until we get that lodged loose in a later stage. So let's just head up. Oh, I move along. What were those things? They smell awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's a bit sad that we don't get to see more of Whoa. Faye. Sure is foggy here. She's described as uh, a hell of a woman. Another dwarf. And there we go. Should Introduction no. to Sindri. Is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but um, how did you come by that uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And uh, while I won't dispute that, I I know that blade. It was one of ours, but uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See the woman we made it for. I was uh, well. I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that <laughs> you did something to her. So that's also an interesting point. She left its father before she died. So she knew Sindri and Brock, but she might have befriended them with an ulterior motive. I'm very, very sorry to hear that. Because she knew she needed the axe to give to Kratos so he could continue his journey. Warrior. And a good woman. Sorry for the background noise. Especially since okay. I know I'm going to put this on I the channel and cut as well. We'll make improvements to the axe. You're but not going to be able to do improvements. Well, it's, it's true, but but knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. Indeed it is. The blue one is your brother. Why is he mad about that? Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. I'm linked to Freya, who we now know is the witch, of course. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. Filthy. Yeah, there's a bit of blood on it. Okay then. Although there doesn't seem to I'll be just... any on the handle. I will just. You're wearing gloves, man. And the handle oh. is clean, look at that. It's even oh. sparkles. Oh. oh, is that dried blood? It oh. is. So what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Okay, thank you for brushing it up. I don't think we need to talk to Sinri just yet because we didn't really get anything new. So let's just move along. Hey, wait for me. We, we will, we will. Um, so if I recall correctly. Hi. Oh, come on. Hit me. Um, boop. Oh, come on. Give me a warning about that, please. Where's the tassel one? Oh, come on. Okay, there's the tassel worm. Let's just boost that up. And there we got this guy off the ground and into the wall. Okay. Come on, it's a ah, it's a guy. Right. Forgot about that move. And there we go. Let's take care of the... Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm just fucking up here. Just for getting a bit of the controls. Yeah. I got hit with something. Both of them were stunned, so... Not really sure. And I'm forgetting to use the bow. And my cats are breaking the house. 
Let's try that again. Let's try, let's try that again. I'm forgetting to use the bow. And I'm forgetting to pretty much do anything. So. Oh, you circle again. Oh, come on. I'm right in between them. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. And down he goes. Oh, what the hell? Well, that was bullshit. And there goes one. Um, oh, to the face. Oh, to the face. Let's just take care of this guy first. Now. Still getting projectiles. Full stab me. Just shoot him. Shoot him dead. Thank you. Was that it? Oh, okay. Getting the hang of this again. Just trying to get my muscle memory back. Maybe a little less... Um... Swiping and a little bit more... Direct combat. Wouldn't hurt. There we go. Let's open up these chests at least. I wonder why they don't get along. I mean, they're family. That is their matter alone, boy. Okay. So, now that we also know that we can get the other one from here. Okay, that's the, the, the troll head. Trying to kill that there. Now we can loop around and actually just get that over here. I'm um, actually thinking about, I think I can just do the entire area on the left here as well with just the weapons I have. Um, more stuff in the pots. Oh, come on. Leave no pot unturned. Ah, Natreus just doesn't... Natreus really doesn't give a shit, does he? So let's get that. And then I can swap to the blades. To burn that away and then back to the axe. There we go. And that gets us more scab slag. The more the better. Because it pretty much governs everything. And yeah, can't do anything with this one, so. Fine by me. Moving on. Okay, so up the mountain should be pretty straightforward until we get to the troll fights. Okay, more hack silver. Always more hack silver. I wonder actually when I'm gonna get to the point where I really need to change my armor. Because right now I'm really happy with the battery set, of course, because of all the all the fancy perks, but one of these days I'm gonna have to switch. Tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. <clears throat> we are? Okay, that's the end of that dialogue. Uh, okay, let's ignore her for now. Was was there something else though? That was something I saw. So, we could go to the left here. And that stops over here, so if I pull that back and just use it over there, I can open this one up as well. She really didn't want to open it. She, why would you say that? Because she just ran away. 
She just ran away immediately. We did get a bit of a soft steel for that as well. And there we go. Pulling that back, throwing that in there, moving along. And more hack silver. And I'm just... You know? You do? And fire blast! What the hell is she? Poison incoming. From where? What is she? Oh, she just... She just leveled up! How the hell am I gonna get her? And... Flammo! Does she, does she do that twice? Yeah, his arrows aren't reaching her anymore. I'm gonna just pull back, because this is... Come here. That comes out, but I can just block that. Seriously? Atreus? Where the hell is he? Okay, this is annoying. Is that hitting her? Okay, it is. And that's the upgraded blades, and there we go. Back to... Oh, I need to pull that back, don't I? And that. So that's the way forward, and I don't think I can actually do anything with the rest just yet, so let's just move forward. Do you think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting with her. It would serve you to stop talking. I just... Oh. That's one down. That's the explosion. Thought that was gonna reach far enough for that. And then that. And just pulls that in his face. And flammo. And juggle him a bit. Okay. Uh, we could just go for the... The stuff in here, so I can blow up that one, and just freeze that one, and then we can open up both of the chests. More scap slack. I'm a scap slack. Yeah, and that gives us etched crest of fortune. Okay, just gonna do some preemptive restructuring because I don't want to have these things exploding while I'm fighting here. Because, okay then, as useful as they are, I'm just gonna get myself stuck if I do that. So, let's lift that up. Oh, I was pressing the button, that's why the skip button is here. Hi, there he is. It's funny, because it's the only time that they actually talk. Ow. That was really painful, even with that armor. In the eyeball. Whack. I want to have that attack, by the way. Father? Yep. More stuff. Okay, so crowd control means Blades of Chaos, preferably. And then, of course, this thing just wakes up again. Ready yourself. Indeed. That actually came true. And 
that in the back. And then just right up. There we go. Should be fine. Let's also kill you guys off the ledge. That's instant killed anyway. Blammo! Ooh, that one leveled up. So, now my blades just level up. There goes another one. And that will go... Okay. Jesus Christ. He just kept going. And there we go. That guy had a lot of health, by the way. And there we go. Okay. An ogre? Here? Who built this place? Yeah. Good question. Do we actually know who built the temple in the mountain? It's a weird question to ask at this point. Because we've seen a lot of shit already. Uh, it seems to be all of it. And I'm not using the summon either, so yeah, I'm just forgetting a whole lot of skills I have to my exp disposal, but keep on trucking on. So this is just, of course, the mountain oh, space, and I can then see why mom wanted us to bring her here. Yeah, it's a cool area. Indeed. Do we actually know what that mouth is supposed to, that face is supposed to be? Because I don't think that's ever actually explained. Let's just keep this up. And open it up. More scab slag, which I'm still not really using for anything, but we'll see in a second. We'll see in a second. Because once we're done with this, we get to uh, Is that our next new world, actually. Uh, there we go. Et voila! More hack silver for me, and whatever this is. And this is. Just more and more hack silver. Then, of course, the smoke that we can't pass through, but we need to walk to anyway. Just so Stay everybody can say that we uh, can't. What is that? You must smoke find another way up. On the water. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. Literal My magic is useless against Machina. the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. <laughs> the Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. I do love Atreus's fancy armor. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. That you look on her fun. face when he. Even touched her was like a yes. really arrogant look. Like you could Where see she wasn't called at that point. To a realm beyond your own. Because she felt better than Kratos in that one moment. Okay, and we got more scap slack for some reason. Thank you, off to the mountain. 3,000 experience that we can't do anything with. Only for a little while. 
Only for a little while. Let's head towards the elevator. Skylift. Hmm. I'm really curious who made that temple in between. We'll use this. Graythar. Graythar. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri. The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Interesting, so... Just give that a turn. Link that with Sindri's explanation about him hiding when he sees Aesir coming by. That actually is another hint that she's actually a goddess. Aside from the very obvious Valkyrie sword in her back. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. <laughs> Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. I kind of missed that explanation the first time around. So when Jormungandr arrived here, he was you know, a lot smaller. Talked to the world serpent. An exaggeration. But still big enough to defeat Even Thor. I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. He speaks a dead tongue, but that doesn't really strike with the explanation that Jormungandr is from the future. Or of Watch course... Step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back to talk. If she already realizes that, that all so? the Jotun, all the giants Let are dead, then the giant language is technically dead. Because most of them are. Are you watching? What? It's solid. Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. So Those just a, a simple indication kind of magic is that? It's that if the light is blocked, it just disappears you know again. It? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. In retrospect, really, really obvious that she is a Vanir goddess and she uses Vanir magic. I mean... The game gives out a lot of hints about who the witch really is. And there we go. Through the door. It's always a bit weird how the sky looks when you're coming from a different area because it's starting to apply a different filter. Built with help from the giants, Great Tear used it to travel the nine realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. So, I'm just thinking about something else. Is, why is there a horn like a right at the bottom of these stairs. on Deer's Temple, which its only purpose is apparently to call Jormungandr when Jormungandr wasn't here when the temple was first built? That is weird. So we need to uh, go over here and then to the right. So we need to, yeah, because we need to rotate hey, the temple. Another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. There we go. Doing the heavy lifting. 
align the wheel onto the track. And then we go lifting it up a little bit to get it into the track. Now push the bridge along the track. And there we go. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. So it's Try interesting it how no. ingenious this really entire strong. temple is, because it doesn't just so do death. this, but it also flips the entire centerpiece. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls, denied their judgment and their peace. By what? Did Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That was a cool hint, by the way. That's Can perfect. Fanny magic Come raise the up. dead? We're ready now. And she answers it could. Which is of course what happens at the end of the game. Because she resurrects Tamur. That is... Awesome. That was impressive. Just those little little callbacks if you just play it again. Not hurt my back. <laughs> did not hurt my back. Wait. So did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? Good question. And all the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Along with Tyr. That's another interesting thing. We still don't know what happened to Tyr. After his so-called betrayal, since he helped out the, the giants get away or not get away. You know, it's kind of complicated. And Brock's gone, because of course the dwarves hide from the golds. Leosta. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. How convenient. Your bow, please. Why not just take the bow? Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. I don't think we won't. That's something very specific to. I love how her bow completely broke, by the way, because even the. Not like you're not coming with us. The two try, beams were gone. But measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Which is a very convenient way of saying that, since she's one of the gods, just not the so Aesir dark. gods. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Another interesting time frame, 150 years between... It's been asleep for 150 years. So that means that Jormungandr must have been here for 150 years. Of course, giving him the time to grow Those into roots such don't look like your magic. large They aren't. These roots sizes. are part of the great world tree and make travel between the realms possible. Okay. Let's use the Bifrost on it. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give How Give does it work? You will need this. A Bifrost. To create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. Boom! What now? Kaboom. Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room and this Love room alone is trying to look that inside you will be of able it. to cross between realms. Oh, that's also very what nice, because you you it just rose out of the water, kind of. As well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the world tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The tree of life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils, 
The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. <laughs> Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. So she put it to Vanaheim, which is of course where she came from. Is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. And then, of course, Every later on, we learn about the, the extra stuff. That realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. And there we go. We're Travel. Ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. And now it's part of our equipment. The bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. Hmm. There's something See that giant crystal? Old about Each realm has a corresponding one that the focuses and amplifies architecture the power here. of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower I'm seeing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. And there we go, more caps lag. A realm beyond. Hmm. It didn't work. We're still here. Follow me. But my frost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. I do love the artwork on the doors. It's just, just such a nice representation because it actually shows us what is going to happen. Because that's how Alfheim looks by the end of it. Because we have the light elves going across those light beams towards the temple. And now we have the dark elves trying to capture it from underneath, which is really, really nice. But there we go. Just stop gawking at all the lovely artistry. And then still no brook. It's a nice touch, so every time we get here with Freya, both of the dwarves are gone. And there we go. Alfheim. And I must say, probably one of the best introductions to, to realm Alfheim, travel gentlemen. they could have gone with. Think you can spot the light? I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> oh. Oh. To restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. Be very careful to not get caught up in the light. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. That's actually um. cool. I never realized, because of course, at the point that she said it, we realized that she was trying to tell us something, but never, of course, place. what we eventually by me. Touch nothing. experience when Kratos gets lost okay. in the, uh, what is that? the light. I there we think go. You killed it. Ah, and there's a light Whoa. elf getting stabbed. Not concern, boy. Focus. Getting mauled. Horrifyingly murdered by dark elves. And again, the insect design is also really cool. Um, 
There we go. A chest for us. A hack silver. Hack silver it is. And another brutal murder. They keep murdering the lighthouse. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. Oh. There we go. And there we go. So, light F's still more easily taken down with stun damage. So, just. So, he leveled up. And then I can go around. And swag. Executioner's cleave and just finish him all. There we go. Thank you, Atreus. What are they attacking us for? We didn't do anything. More will come. So if you look closer this stuff even come to the design of the dark and the light elves, they're actually the same creature. Just differently dressed. Which is of course pretty cool, but let's open this up because I think this thing? has another no. cipher. Oh, okay. And uh, Tria starts hearing stuff. Soon we'll be able to translate those moose behind There we go, three out of four. And let's get going. Because then we get another Sindri location. Uh, and this one we need to go around and smack the boat. The boat's free, but I think there's isn't there something on the right here? No, no collectible. No collectible. We need to check out Sindri first, and because I'm really curious if I can actually make something. It's gonna make my PlayStation go haywire, but how are you here before us, dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? So we get the explanation later that they can slip between the cracks of the realms, kind of. But that doesn't always explain why they can actually just swap worlds as well. The other thing, though, is that makes you to just think about whether they can't oh, just go to Jotunheim. Craft. So I can make traveler stuff if I want to, but... Mm, it's not going to be better. We need to upgrade it. And it's just not something I'm going to do. I mean, the traveler stuff is better than the ancient stuff. But for now, I mean... My Valkyrie stuff is just so good. Um, I don't think... Grip of the Maze. Yeah, just... Uh, oh, come on. Do I need to really go over it to just... Get it to get done. Talisman, Talisman of Fury. Gain a rage burst. Also has a passive effect that increases the amount of rage gained from combat as well as duration of part and rage. Talisman of Unbound Potential. Refresh all runic attack cooldowns. Also has a passive effect that increases runic when a runic attack is on cooldown. Okay. That sounds not bad. It's probably better than the... It has enchantment slots. You know what? I'm gonna make that. It does take a bit of scap slag. But it sounds cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Eternal Fury. No, <laughs> unbound potential. Let's just close that up for now and just quickly check if I can actually upgrade that. So we have a few, but for most, I need. Whoa. 
I need a bit of Axilver. A damn. That is not just a little bit of Axilver, boy. So yeah, I was going with the recover faster. Oof. But I can upgrade that to get that into a normal just enchantment, I think. Um, yeah, for now, let's just keep it like this then, because... Yeah, yeah, let's just keep it like this. And then we can buy stuff, not really need it, or sell stuff. We do have a bit of... Can't we just sell him artifacts? There we go. That's a bit. And that's a bit. And then we can actually just sell him all the... Yeah. Yeah, I do have a bit of stuff I can sell him. <laughs> that's just gonna take a while. I don't want to keep you guys waiting while I just keep doing this. Um, so let's do that later on. I mean, I can don't forget, hold don't my own for hands. now. So, goodbye, Sindri. And let's get into the boat. Let's get that into the water. Just give the, the PlayStation a bit of a rest as well. Because otherwise it's going to blow up. What did you say? I said nothing. Really? The okay. Atreus cuckoo phase. And there we go. So of course, tapping into uh, Did your his special speak abilities. Realm? Not much. Just gonna Just get. That's since the elves were always fighting over the light. They kept them isolated. And that gives us one more stat points, or two more stat points. Two more. One more. Two. Yeah. Two cooldown. Is there one on the other side? I don't think so, but there's a what? chest hanging from Again, there. Again, I said nothing. Where? There's one you said something. And there we go. Where's it, boy? Oh. Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. So that's of course his uh, ability to hear people from very far away. So he's just hearing the massacre that's going on. By the way, you completely unique boat you get to uh, use in Alfheim alone. And there we have two more light elves. Should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. And of course, there we go with the uh, isolationism from uh, Kratos himself and more dead and skewered light elves. Just chugging along. Just looking for things that I missed. Just, I've been through this game a lot. Every inch of it. That must be the Ring Temple. I actually pulled the uh, art book, and it's full of interesting alternative designs for the temple as well, which is cool. Uh, I'm not gonna go there just yet. I'm just gonna quickly go to the side bits and do the combat encounters there. It's sad the elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. Gold. We will finish that later. And... There we go. And blew him up. That sounded like another one appeared, but I don't think that's actually the case. Okay. So we have... You there. You jerk. Uh, and that's, I think, it for this bit. And now we need to get to the center in there. It's supposed to be a heavy drug around here somewhere. There he is. And uh, just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And... And he explodes. And then, of course, just whack him in the face. And whack. And then of course the battle worms. Oh, that was way too late to trace. Oh, 
And there we go. Stance. I need to use the stance a bit more. I always keep forgetting about the stance. So... I think the left one is just to the Valkyrie, right? And then we have... This thing over there. Just jump across. Get my axe back. And then... Launch it over there somewhere and... It's like that, right? I just need to... There we go. Just get the right angle in there. And a bit more hack silver, and then we get what is probably another useless enchantment. From the chest up here. Pull that open. And we got, yeah, another. Just, just a little enchantment. And another item from this dead corpse. I think more where those came from. Spoils of war. And get the boat back in. And then we have a realm there on the left. On the right, I think. Because we are at the, on the left. Yeah, because I dropped it in. And then we get a bit more ACS gold, which is... Just something you can actually sell for hack silver, so, since we need a lot of hack silver. The, eyes of a child. the war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things: survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Spoken like a true god of war. Okay, this little island light out sanctuary. Uh, oh my god, I feel like I'm less mobile in this difficulty as well. And then we got the stones back. And okay, he just died. Oh, okay, kind of got skewered by the door there. That was also not what I wanted to do, but there we go. Jump and just keep sprinting through the door. Yeah, arrow is not working yet. And that should keep me safe from the other castle worm as well. And, and there we go. Frost charge. Okay, yeah, so I need to lift it, fire at it, and fire at it. So that opens it up, and then I can go. You know what? I just want to open what the hell was here again. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, the CRN door. Door. Chest. CRN chest. So we have. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So it's not there, not there, not there. So. It's not that one. That's one. That's the top one. The right one. And the left one, there we go. So this is actually where those two um, light elves were standing before. Which is interesting in its own right. And then the realm there shouldn't be too much of a problem. I have enough uh, just nuking abilities to just outlast anything they can throw at me. There we go. That just heads us back. Just want to be careful that I don't get killed immediately here. 
because I think I can actually kick one off. No. Yeah, there goes one. Can't. That's annoying. Can't really do anything during the stance, of course. Okay, well, we took him out. So let's just put our fist in that, that thing again, because it's so safe to do that. And get a bit of uh, dust of realms. There we go. And more scab slack. The more the merrier. Okay, so that means we can just leave this site and just go towards the temple proper. There we go. Up top, and I think there's one more thing we can do here. Yeah, there's an item over there, so we just need to angle this correctly. And then we can get this all the uh, spoil of war. And then the rest is all in the temple, I think. Just drop down. Just drop down. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, did that open up this as well? Yeah, it did. It did. And then we get this. Oh yeah, that's the rotating room. So I need to start pulling this. We're pretty much at the same level. Yeah, that was it. Probably. You know what, let's just pull that again. So that's the point where they're good. And then I just need to release. Put myself into a nice central position here. And what's it? There we go. There we go. How do I... Ah, there. Yeah, be confused about that all you want. There we go, golden chest done. And we get... Ooh. The Amulet of Crazy. The last second dodge activates Realm Shift and pretty slowing down. I think that's another one I can just craft into an enchantment if I upgrade that immediately. Okay. And there we go. Beat his ass up. And let's go back to the temple. So... I'm actually wondering if we can just skip ahead and not do the first island we come across. But I'm guessing we will have to do that first just to get the view. The lovely view of the temple. Sindri said mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals and she alone survived. But set that aside. We must proceed on foot. But that Look, was actually not Sandals a lot. And Alfheim too. Interesting. She was just talking about the what giants in general. Ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back oh, yeah, to the runs. boat. Yeah, okay. So we need to get the rune, which we get from realigning the beams out from the water. Which we need to do over there with a bit of fighting against the light elves, uh, dark elves. Because I don't think the light elves actually do that much fighting. It's interesting though, because we never see so, light elves actually do what any you fighting. Me about Mom's war? Uh, nothing, because we're, we're just yeah. The blue door. That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go. No, because it's not a door. Well, Careful, not boy. Right yet. What are they doing? That is so gross and creepy. We covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Okay. Okay. And just. And just grab his ass. And there's a one just spawned on my back. 
Okay, and then just rolling ball. Just kill his ass, and then this guy just get him cornered. Okay, thanks for the warning there, buddy. Yeah, the, the health stones is something he can do because of his armor now. Aww. Totally missed that. Trying to do an execution escape. Ah, an execution escape. Thank you, Andreas. Ooh. Yeah, he's in half. He's a half elf right now. Oh, that was a lame joke. That was a lame joke. So let's just pull this one down and then we get a bunch of other enemies. There we go. That did something. It did. Enemies Oh, you got me there. Oh, I blocked that. But let's do that. Let's just get a bit of health back. And just stop that, I think. Next for the second time, I'm just gonna use the blades to heal up. Because yeah, I think it's probably the only rune you should take for the heavy runic attack for the blades. Just the healing stuff. Combined together like that, they kind of look like a rune. It doesn't make sense. Come back to the sand. Bowl. I'm not gonna get attacked again. No. Oh, okay. Let's just go back to the sand bowl. Misremembering stuff. Typical trophy nuts. There we go. There we go. Just go back to the sand bowl, and then we can take the elevator down. Cause now it looks like a rune. A rune we can put into the sand bowl. So. Rock and Sindri made Mom the axe just to help her survive? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. No. Why, exactly? Because... Father! The light Father's elves are weak. Form an elvish room. Okay. Let's just put that in there, then. Draw it. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. He does, actually. A logger. A logger. What's happening? It's opening up the entire Whoa. temple. Look what we found. What really found? I think that was its intended purpose, but opening Father? up yes. and going down. The voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back, I'm pretty sure I heard mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. And he was actually right. It Hello, like Captain Douchebag. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Oh, probably not. Let's just heal up by using this. I'm actually wasting that now, but let's just smack his ass. Ah, oh, come on. There we 
go. Ooh, he hit me there. It was a bit too late for it. Oh god. Oh god. Burn damage. Oh, fuck. Just gonna activate wolves. And then just grab his ass and take him down. Okay, really need health potions now. Stay Trace, away from those cages. Me Wonder why they're locked up. Oh, there we go. That's something at least. So those are still locked up, but I think the other one might might give us something. At least a bit of health stones. Uh yeah, this opens that up. Be ready. What? Okay, be ready for what? It's not coming out. There we go. And just grab his ass. Grab his ass. Grab his ass. Grab his ass. Okay. Just cleave his ass in. That was weird. Couldn't grab him. Hope that was worth it. Uh, no problems. So put it in there and then walk over here. Look at it and there we go. Still remember that trick. Scab slack. Please let it be scab slack. I like scab slack. Nope. Just a sturdy sign of cunning. Because we like to be cunning. And then. Another bit of hack silver. Okay. Moving along. Moving along. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> it just landed on his head. Oh, poor Atreus. Just dropping containers on his face. He's just getting no end of it, isn't he? So, moving along. Wait, they're already mixing... Oh god! And just whack these guys. Oh, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, let him. Oh, he, he just buried me! Oh, I blocked that. You know what? Fuck it. There we go. Keep it up. Ah, you fucking don't. And just finish this off stylefully. Spin him to the wall. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, that's, that looks like something I can use. That really looks like something I can use. There we go. A bit of health, a bit of security. Easy does it. Ah, almost back to full health. So, dropping this down gives us the R. Go. Uh, then I think if I just drop this down further, I can lock that up. We will find out. 
and climb up here and use the blades to take out the end. Then, um, the C, I'm not ready. I think the C is the one that's like lodged halfway up the wall, right? I think if I go back, I think there's like the C is somewhere. No, 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 no. I'm misremembering this. Is it over there somewhere? I don't think I see it now. Let's just go all the way down. Okay, then freeze this thing. Get off, get in here, and then pull it back. I think it might be behind... No, it's not in here, so I do, but we can open up the chest. More scap slag for everyone. Now, the C. Or is the C the one that's right, like, off the side of it? No, no C? I'm totally not remembering this. Where is the C? Where is the C? Hmm. Let's just, let's just not dwell on this. Because this is gonna suck to watch otherwise on the uncut version. There we go. Because I don't think... No C. No C in sight. Might be that it's over there, but... There's a chest over here, though. I think we can do the same you thing in oh. here. I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. There we go. Bye. And let's take advantage of that to just get the chests. There's a few chests, chests hidden like this in uh, in all time, which is pretty nice. For a general resources stack. There we go, scap slag. Then I'll probably start selling off a whole bunch of relics, etc. to get my uh, hack silver count up. Because uh, everything costs a lot of hack silver this time. And not much else. So that's that. I think I don't need to... Yeah, we're gonna come back here anyway. So let's get that back. Get it under the right angle. And that's it, I think. Because now we're gonna get to the next scene. Yeah, this is this is the place where we're gonna get a bit angry. There we go. There he is. Boom! And hit him. There we go. Flying elves. Oop, there you go. And then, I think it's... Nope. Because this is like, you get unlimited rage in here, so... And also off, like a bit of... Just playing billiards. And bam. And then just lift this thing up. Hold on, boy. Fight. And just keep pressing circle, I suppose. There we go. He's holding off really now, although they're not really attacking, are they? Not, not run in that direction, that was definitely not the direction I would have taken. Ah, and he's getting away again. It's not our time yet to fight this guy. There we go. And just start off with that. And then we just charge up the trope. No, 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 no. Okay, so if I just aim it. And then just whack them all. Oh. 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 
Just five more seconds of Biting Frost, and there he goes. Blessing of Frost. Biting Frost is in Gwent. I'm just getting games confused again. Um, we have the side areas here, but... Um, I think we can actually go underneath. It's not the only one, right? There's two of them. I think if we can go... We can go lower here, so... Just get this thing, and then I think we get a nice angle over here. There we go. And that should open up another chest for more scap slack. Makes it a bit more simple to have just one resource available. There we go, scap slack for me. Just removes impurities. Sounds a bit, yeah, I don't know, a bit too much. It's the perfect material. Fitting for, of course, a playthrough like this, but hey, a new game plus sure playthrough. Hey, okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. Okay, and that's the end of that. <laughs> Sometimes there's like these really, really small conversations. Uh, we drop down. Ugh, more of it. Um, but I think we can take it out right now. I think we can start taking some of it out. Yeah, there we go. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right. There we go. On to the... Oh yeah, this is the first time we battle an ancient, I think, if I recall correctly. Or not. Wait, what? Ah, it's on the right. Yeah, there's like a giant arrow pointing in your face. Faye was really athletic, by the way. She could draw all that all around this place. Man. And off the left. There we go. And just... No! Frozen solid. There we go. Frozen solid, and then we can go to. Why is he turning? Oh wow, he just went to me. That axe upgrade is so ridiculous. I don't even need to aim. Go back. And there we have the ancient. Uh, this is the the beam guy, right? Oh yeah, right. We can use there we it again. go. Open up. Just need to be careful a bit because I can. Oh Jesus! And. Um, Move out of the way. Or maybe fire once, yeah, to get a piece off. Okay, just fire. Yeah, there we go. And grab him. Punch, 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 punch. And then we get into the second phase, I'm afraid. Where we get a bit more elves in our face as well. Okay, so seems to be only one elf for now. Keep hitting it. Oh wow. Ah, uh, smack him off. There we go. And that's the third hatchel. An explosion. Just get that back. Oh, it dropped off. And then.
And then... There we go. Just grab a piece. And just throw it in there. Oh, can we grab? Nope. I just punched him to death. <laughs> okay, then let's get, let's get that back. And there we got a whole lot well, of stuff from Watch Ancient Tarks, boy. Ooh, another chest. Should probably open that up as well. And uh, let's get the chopping. You're freezing at first. And shatter. Oh, there it goes. Dying off. I did it. You brought the main bridge back. You must find a way up. Go back up to the Ringed Temple Bridge. So I don't think there was only one. Yeah, there was only one chest. So let's go. Actually, go over here on the left. They don't make bridges that have no purpose, do they? There we go. Another spoil of war. Good. And then on the other side, I think I'm full health, right? Yeah, full health. That was pretty doable. And then we get into oh, the elevator, which is now active. Maybe this will spit us out on top. Uh, I think it actually does, if I recall correctly. It spits us back out on top, and then we can take the main bridge up to the temple. Look! The blue door! We made it! So... Moving up here, not really sure if we can get ambushed here again. I will never get used to walking on solid light. Yes, it is uh, pretty spectacular. The There's no seam. What? We have a problem. But the door is not a door. Um, just gonna take the CR and chest and go to the left here. A near chest must be nearby. So we can smack. This open. There we go. So there's the N. I can actually just hit the R and then C. And with the special axe that I have now, I can just do that immediately. Otherwise, you need to sprint a bit closer because the axe would drop off. And there we get more hack silver. And an inscribed sigil of the heart. I'm so romantic with the descriptions of those things. So, the door can't be opened. We need to go to the sides, which of course is where we'll find Sindri again. The dwarf again. Sindri? And then the only panel actually missed during my playthrough, so... Look here. Another. Enjoy. Hmm. This giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book? So this is actually interesting. She had visions. A giant who had visions. Which is interesting because that's kind of similar to what Faye actually can do. Um, but yeah, let's have a little chat. Sindri. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, Cinder. Don't touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Okay. Let's get started then. Let's check out. Ooh, there's a new. No, there's no, no new talismans. I just. Yeah, I can actually buy that one. I have enough hack silver now. Okay, I can upgrade a few things. Um, there's one I upgraded already the talisman of protection. Uh, and now we can upgrade the 
talisman, the amulet of Xvazir. Once. Oh my god, I need a hell of a lot of materials to get all of that done. Amulet of Xvazir, let's just do that. Upgrade. And then we're done for the day again. <laughs> so yeah. That's gonna take a while. Which is good, of course. We have something to uh, work towards. Let's sell them the artifacts we have. Which is another 11,000. Hmm. Can we do anything? No. Nope. 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 nope, nope. And I'm not gonna sell everything account. right here. I'll just do that off camera. This works. Let's go down. Down into the depths. And then to the right. Now we get into the We're outer inside. circle. Yeah, I hated this. Of course. Wonder what those are attached to. Almost. I can't do that actually. Wait a second. I physically can't do this. Oh my god, I physically can't do this. Yeah, my axe just goes too far. Just trying different... Different conversation... No, 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 no. No, I'm not gonna do this. And I don't really need to. Let's just leave it at that. Ready yourself. Uh, whack that right into there. And just... Let's just get out of the way of that. Nope, 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 you don't. Uh, and then just whack him. And ooh, decapitated. And there we go. Ooh. Uh, just whack him. And take him out. Can I aim that? No. Nope, it's not the throwing animation. Uh, goodbye. More nightmares? Okay, I think that was it. It was a bit easier than I remembered. Because I really had problems with the uh, nightmare, because I think I forgot at that point that I could actually use a tree as to fire arrows and stop them in their tracks, because otherwise you need to use like inhuman reflexes to stop Whoa. them getting to now you. That's impressive. Yeah, it's a big door. It's actually one of the screenshots that Santa Monica used as a start, but this is kind of the base of that outer circle. Which is something you might not actually realize. Read it. From uh, darkness, keep safe the light. Didn't do a very good job, did they? There we go, and I think from this angle we can actually just take that out. And that's another chest with scap slab. Yeah, I'm gonna keep having troubles. Just reading the word out loud. Scap slag. There we go. Getting that out of there. And scap slag it is. Will we get to the light? I think we might be able to get to it just before I end this stream. There we go. There we go. And I'm up there. Going a bit faster if you across uh, a few of these areas just because, you know, we've been through these already. There, the light. 
They've covered it up with that stuff. How would they do that? Yeah, because they're like a bit Look, insectoid like. Another light up. Making their own hives. Oh no. And Why are they stab. Him? He didn't do anything. Do not assume. You are seeing the end of a war, boy. You do not know what led to this moment. But he didn't even defend himself. That was his choice. We make ours. Tell me when. And just bowling balls. Awesome boat all. Ah, goodbye. Okay. What now? The light is near. Look for a way inside. And smash that up. And crash. First one down. Two more to go, I think. That did it. Look, more light bridges. More light bridges. Just getting across that, and then we get a few more nightmares if I recall correct. I'm just gonna walk into those. Just need to be careful that I stop them before they just. Because once they're fired up, you can actually destroy them immediately. Man, the homing axe is really helping out with this difficulty. Um, oh. And just infinity gauntlet. Who is exploding? There we go, and then just... Ooh, wow! There. That went really quickly. That was one explosion, I think. So, back trying to get that back. Um, and there we go. Freezing that up and smacking it down. More light bridges for us. You're restoring all the pathways. Which is what we do, boy. That is exactly what we do. We just clear the way for us to go into the creepy, creepy hive. There we go. And we're moving on. I'm moving on. Time to break free. Nothing can stop me. Oh yeah, this is the one I got really, really lucky with for some reason. So... This one probably. That is one, and then this was one. As well, just missed the last one. Just need to aim a bit low. There we go. And then these ones just need to go from here. Okay, where the hell did that guy go? No. Wait a sec, I need to hit... Where is the axe? The axe is just going... Let me 
Jesus Christ. Where the hell was that going? And we're into the hive. Okay. Exactly where I wanted to be. Or where I wanted to get in the stream. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. Quiet. Look at that. I missed that the first time. The walls were actually covered with yeah. Light elves. Great. Did you hear that? Yep. Stay alert and by my side. Hey. Let's climb up when the we make it to the light. How do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how did I miss that? You are more concerned with her safety than our goal. Hello! Quiet! I have him. You're not I just started pressing buttons again. How the hell did that not make enough noise to... Because uh... he was just waking up. Poor man was just waking up and then he got shift in the face. Do not stray from me, boy. You don't gotta tell me. So one crazy ass scene coming up. I love this scene. Oh, so sticky. Just such a rage filled. Inanuna! Another one! Yep, Stay hello. Back. And smack. Yeah, stay back. The light. Yep. Yes, we are near our goal. But we must be careful. Understand? Look at all the buggies. God. Look at all the bugs. So let's just go along and just... Yeah, now we're silent, but we're not going to be silent for long. There. We're when it falls, be, be silent ready. for we long. need to move quickly. Okay. And there we go. Freezing that up and smacking it down. Jump, boy. And then I think I'm just gonna go with blasters, of course, because this is. Yeah. Here they come. This Stay is a rampage. Protect our flank. Yes, sir. Done. And let's start with that. Because they're all weak here. Which is cool, of course. And then we need to go this way. Because I don't think you can actually die here. Just, just go and through this. Shorten the time between your volleys. There are many targets. You will not miss. And just make a stance. And just go along. A narrow path negates superior numbers. Stay focused. There goes half of them as well. And just race up the gold to get rid of a few. And then take this down as well. Boom! Bye, Hive. Boy. Boom! That must have hurt. Are you injured? I'm fine. Wow, it's beautiful. And very interesting as well. I don't recall if we actually the go light. in there ourselves. It's making the whole temple reappear. It's the source of all of it. There we go. Wait, it's, it's singing. I hear, I hear her. I told you I heard her. Do you think she's in there? Yeah. Really hurt. I feel like my hand was on Don't fire. touch the giant laser beam. Just general good idea. Generally a good idea. Stay here. But I Stay go. here.
Because this is a scene I've been meaning resort. to discuss. You're giving me so I'm wondering axe. if I'm there's hold my axe. a few things in there that might help us You're understand the overall story a bit more. Still. Yeah, he's gonna have fun with it. There we go. Let's go again. And push through! Push him through! There we go! Go again! Oh, you don't want to skip. I just kept pressing circle. There we go. What is Black this? and white vision again. Just as the last... Uh, Faye. Yeah, there go the ashes. So, oh yeah, of course, because that's the bag of ashes, so that is Faye. So we you need to follow to the bag of ashes. You left me here alone. Atreus? Alone with him. Is this area different than what we remember? Don't think it is. He always leaves. He's never here. He doesn't want me and he never will. That also begs the question, where did Kratos go? Every time he left Atreus and Faye. So this is a bit weird. So now we get to the house. Going in. I don't know him and he doesn't know me. And from the house we go Oh the boat. I'm smart. Ah the Helheim boat. I know better. That is cool. And then of course this is doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear That's... me? That's him, not you. This is not really something we actually go to, right? Doesn't look familiar. Or is this the point where it's actually just flooded the place? You can go to the sides, but there's not much here. The flow Except is leading us up. I don't mean that. I know I love him. I just wish he was better. Oh, and this is the top of the mountain. Okay. With a look at Mimir's so tree. Tries, I'll try. And we're but back in the house. Please come back. I know you're out there somewhere. Is there something in the house? Because I know you can find the letters normally, but I haven't been able to spot them. At this point, so that's Atreus. And we come through that door eventually. Is there something in here that we missed? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, but that of course is interesting. The hole where the, the blades are. It's just like a... A portal now, because that's technically the portal that we came through. Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything here. Let's go out again. And that leads us into, of course, the most interesting bit. The Jotunheim Bridge. So normally there's a staircase here, which there isn't now. Although, you get teleported here, right, on top of the staircase. Now we have the bridge. And yeah, he's walking out the map. I can't even turn the camera right now. Which, it's literally face showing us. Go back! No! No! What have you done? Why did you do that? I saved you! You are trapped in there! I waited and I waited, but you wouldn't come out! So I pulled you out! Boy! I was gone only... Uh huh. Moments. No! You've been gone a long, <coughs> long time. I didn't know what to do. You left me here again. <coughs> Why don't you care? I... That's impossible. It's not. We should go before they come back. Because that's, of course, what Freya warned us about, to not get stuck in there. Because 
That was actually the entire journey. That's the entire game we just saw. Yes. So something I didn't realize before that it was actually most of the Look, areas we actually our exit. go to. But there's no light to make a bridge. We're trapped. And the uh, but that's string is useless. Uh, with that, I'm just going to take a little break, because uh, a little break, I'm going to take a long break from uh, streaming, but because uh, I'm doing this with a few weeks in between every time. But uh, thanks for everybody watching, uh, especially the guys that just watch this stream uncut on the channel, because, uh, yeah, I can assume that this it's not always easy to watch this thing in its entirety. But thanks, and honestly, for watching, uh, and I hope to see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.